When you're with Luke Foley, he's got one of the most genuine street cars in Victoria, I'd say. You drive this thing everywhere, don't you? Yeah, drive it, try drive it as much as I can. Yeah. Any excuse. Yep. Yeah. 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 What's your best time, straight up? Uh, so far it's gone a 761 at 181. 181. This year marks the 25th year that we have been behind the cameras, and to celebrate, we have a fresh new merch design available for pre order. Grab your track gear from shop.fullboost.com.au And I love the fact it's got such a neat engine bay for a car that's actually used a lot. Yeah. It has, it's held up pretty good. It's been, was painted four years ago now, yeah. so it's held up pretty well. Yeah, and yeah. the turbos are obviously inside the... Yeah, up under each guard, yep, yep. What are they? Give us a bit of a quick rundown of the, the setup. The set, um, this is a bigger engine, isn't it? It is, it's a 440 Dart Next, yeah. uh, Next 2. Still hydraulic roller cam, standard rocker gear. Um, set of powerhouse engines, just off the shelf, they're six bolt heads, they're still unported, running twin G42s. Yeah, yeah I've sort of seen a max around 30 pound at the moment, but we, we have run 100 and, 184 mile an hour on that 30 pound. It's just a bit slow in the front half of the track, we're hoping to sort of chase that down a bit. So, but yeah, it is working well. Weigh with you in it? Uh, just under 3,500 pounds, so 3,485, I think it is. So, yeah. yeah. Have you got a so, three speed in this? Or a it's got a yeah, turbo 400 reverse pattern yeah. with trans brake first and second gear. I saw so, it, um, was it, was a drag challenge you decided to look at your diff, I should say, give it yes. a birthday, and then yes. some, some things you just don't touch. Do some you, things you break. don't touch, it was a bit noisy, and then um, I thought I'll give it a birthday and put a new set of gears, but obviously the new ones just weren't up to the job. Yeah. Oh. Um, we went back to the old ones, put a brand new diff in it, yeah. which was actually noisier than what the one was that I had pulled out of it, so it's just always the way. And it holds together. And it holds together, yeah, so. <laughs> popular upgrade in America I know is the Holly ECU, that's what you're using on this? Yes, yep. yeah. yeah, it's got the Holly Dominator in it. Obviously it hasn't got a great amount of sensors on it, I'm slowly chipping away putting a few extras so we've got a bit more data, but yeah, yeah. Uh, it just runs your EGTs, trans temp, um, wheel speed sensor, I've just wired up front wheel speed sensor, pre-cooler temps and pressures now, just so we've got a bit more bit more idea what's going on. I think we're just about out of just about out of intercooler so yeah, yeah, so yeah we just need to sort of look at upgrading a couple bits and pieces if we want to push any faster. So what sort of power is this pushing out then to, to run that mile an hour? Look it's made it's made 1500 at the tires, horsepower at the tires on around the 26, 27 pound. Um, that was with full exhaust and filters and stuff on it. So I don't know, I'd guess it'd have to be 1600 or so to run that 185, 184 yeah. sort of thing. Yeah. For, yeah. you, for you to run much faster though, you'd have to upgrade like the safety side of it, you'd probably get. Yeah, safety side. Um, safety side would need a couple little bits and pieces, but I don't know if I'll push the car much yeah, faster. Yeah. Like, well, how fast get do I go in, in, in a car that you drive on the road? Look, you know? I think it's got potential to run a 7.30 on yeah. a, like, a really good track, that you can, like a good radial prep track, where you can half track it how it should be. Um, but yeah, other than that, like as I say, it puts on 40 mile an hour in the deep end almost. So if you can get that half track, like on Drag Challenge we went a 760 with only 144 to half and it went 184 out the back, but it was just very soft, a big timing retard just to make sure we put one down sort of thing. So it was, yeah, it was probably the slowest 760 it's ever done with the most mile an hour. Your so. car's pretty consistent though, like we film a lot of radial cars and your yep. car does get down the track. It has, I've got well, some pretty good data, pretty car. good data and 
I think it helps when you tune it yourself and you're driving it so you can actually feel exactly. what it does down the track. So yeah. Yeah. I know one years ago we did drag challenge in Adelaide and I think you were one of the few cars that drove Yes, yes, the that's the, the Tunnel Vision boys, yep, Jace. Yeah. We actually drove over, yeah. yeah. Drove over to start the week and yeah, then drove further than us, you're driving from Geelong. Yeah, from Geelong, so yeah, yeah, yeah. It was good to see other boys doing it though, that you just gotta have the confidence in your car, I suppose. We've certainly noticed cars that work consistently well on radials are those yeah. cars that do a lot of kilometres on the road. Yeah, exactly, exactly right. It all goes hand in hand, I suppose. If you can drive it on the road, you're not gonna have stuff break at the track as much because you've got a tested, proven car. So there's a lot of cars that say they do street Ks and that mainly may not, and then you turn around and put them on the track and you get to the track and they always got problems. If you'd done the amount of street Ks, you would have sorted a lot of them problems out. Some problems can only be sort found at a track with a grippy surface, but yeah. 90% of the stuff you can sort out driving around, so... Yeah. Now, we're, we're at Heathcote today and the, the ama amazing amount of work they've done. You're here not obviously to run a PB, you're just here no, to support the I'm event. I'm just here to support the event and what the guys are doing. What they're doing here is unreal, like it really is. Board the kids up, they can watch some racing, I'll do a couple passes and, yeah. Doesn't matter if it's a new, fresh surface or whatever, we'll just go on down, have a play, see what we can do and just have a bit of fun. Hey guys, to move over here, we're just going to do a bit of an interview here. Oh, oh, shit! Oh, Hollywood! <laughs> Back it up. Oh, what are you on? Oh, what are you on? <laughs>